Hello, everybody, and just want to wish you guys a happy new year. As you can see, this is my new planner for this year. I've decided to give Hobonichi Techno Cousin Avec a try. Um, it is housing in our IV planner right now. As you can see, it will fit both of the Hobonichis. However, I'm pretty sure it's going to turn chunky and I will have to remove the second one sooner or later when this first Hobonichi will be full and be my chunky monkey. So right now, I'm just flipping through. I did put some stickers in already just to play around with the paper and to play around with everything. So those who don't know what the Hobonichi Techno Cousin Avec is, it's a planner and it houses your monthlies, your weeklies, as you can see here, and then your dailies. So it's everything in one and I decided to give this one a try. It's because I do want to keep everything in one planner. Um, previous I had two planners going on. Um, right now this one is just going to be for work and family. I do have an extra planner for my meal planning and also schedule activities for my children too. But this one will be my main planner. As you can see here this was last week's spread. I just I didn't use a kit actually but I was just playing around with the format of how I usually do do my weekly spread in the past before. So this week's plan with me, we're using our dreamer kit in the hobo format. I do have a regular format too in the shop, but right now we're just gonna try out our hobo format for our hobonichi here. As you can see, it's a three page kit, but it is full of stickers and it's foiled with silver foil. I've also decided to use our Aurora and Purple Washi collection for this kit too because it does match the purple in this kit. So what I usually do is to lay my full boxes out first so that I know the layout of how I want my spread to look like. I do scatter planning meaning that all the full boxes will be going diagonally down and then diagonally up again. Um, there is a pattern to this madness where I would do full boxes, then the second one would be my to-do list, and then below the to-do list will be my todays, which are events that are happening today. Wherever I position my full boxes, that's where the system will start. So it'd be full boxes, as I said, full boxes, my to-dos, and then todays. And that's it, that's how I do one column. So as I said, full boxes, washi, to my to-do list, and then washi, and then my todays. And I'll be repeating that pattern throughout the weekdays. So also another technique that I usually um, go to or use is that any sticker kit that has a quote in it, I will use that full box quote as my main center focus piece. As you can see here, it will always be in my Thursday column in the middle, dead center of the planner spread. Now I'm just going to finish the rest of the week. For my sidebar, I usually track what's going to happen next week. If anything that comes up in my mind, I'll just write down all things to do for next week. I also put down um, notes about like things that should be done this week, but not 
an urgent task to do. Um, like I wouldn't pick a specific day to do, but it has to be done this week type of thing. I also noticed that other people use the sidebar as their daily habit tracker or their weekly habit trackers and they just put it all there. Now for the headers, uh, there's this space between the headers and the column. I'm not sure what to put in there. So I decided to just put this washi strip that came with the kit um, just to fill in the space. Uh, but I know that it does not really fit well in that space because that washi strip is not really made for that area. But I thought that I could just use it just to cover it up so it's not as dull as it doesn't have anything there and plus this one is sparkly foiled so I think it just adds a nice touch to the headers. And finally, our weekend sticker. I'm not sure where to put it. As you can see, I'm just like following down the line and see where has a great space for it. So I decided to put it right there in the middle. In the kit, there's also a sticker to cover that gray box on top of the sidebar. I've also decided to use a full box to cover the calendar that's also up there too. And this is it, our weekly spread before the pen. I'll be taking it off camera to fill in everything and I will we'll be right back. So here we are all filled out. That was last week. And here, this is this week. I'm so in love with this. It just makes my week look so busy when it technically isn't, but I love to fill it out with stickers and everything. Um, it may look chaotic, but there is a system to this madness. And as, you, as I said before, there are the dailies here and what I usually do is that with the daily of that week, so if it's January 3rd, for January 3rd in my dailies, I will use the same sticker, left any leftover stickers that I haven't used from my kit to decorate the dailies. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoy this plan with me for the first um, week of January 2022. I haven't really set up my planner yet, but I am definitely using this beautiful, gorgeous Ivy planner. Thank you all for watching and I wish you a wonderful week. Happy planning. Bye.